question four. So sketching the curve. Now this is something you can smack into your um, graphical calculator. Just put any number over x and um, then it's going to give you a graph that looks a bit like this. As your values as your value for x approaches 0, your value for y approaches infinity. As your value for x approaches infinity, your value for y approaches 0. But you've also got the negatives doing something like that there. So that's your, your first two marks. Now, this next bit, and I'll, I'll come clean here. When I first did this, I missed out on two of the marks here. I simply solved this to say, right, 16 is going to be smaller than or equal to 2x and then divide both sides by 2 and you've got 8 is smaller than or equal to x. However, um, that is, if you look up here, that is just finding all the values where your y value is going to be. If, um, if I was going over here, maybe if that was, if that was your value x equals 8, but if you look on the graph, all of these values of x are also giving us a value below y. So not only is x going to be bigger than or equal to 8, but you're also going to have x being smaller than zero because whenever x is zero you're going to get a negative answer aren't you and that's always going to be um, smaller than two.